Hey, Alejandro, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Well, thank you for joining the class. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay. okay, let's wait for the other. Let me see. Yes, in a minute. In a minute, we're going to start, right? Rolando, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolando. Mr. Campos, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Llegando, cansadito. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sí. Yeah. But exor Pero... exercise is good, you know? <laughs> oh, terrible. Okay, I imagine. Sorry. Okay. And Victor, Mr. Victor Martinez. How's it going, Victor? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good I'm evening. fine. Okay. You're tired too. You were running too? Yes? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Exercise. <imagine>. Exercising. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. That's nice. Yes. I need exercise too. You know, one, two, three. Juan Alfonso. Hello, Mr. Hello, good evening, teacher. It's a pleasure to, to hear you again, right? <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> okay, sorry. So let's just start today. Um, you're supposed to finish section four today, right? So all the sections. Um, so if you have any problem with some section before, we can we can make the exercise. We can deal. Podemos tratar. Right? We can deal with that exercise if you have problems. Mai, how are you, Mai? Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to listen to you again. Thanks. You're the first lady in the class because we have Rolando, Alejandro, Victor, and Juan Alfonso. Only boys. <laughs> Only men for the moment, right? So, welcome. Good. Now, let's just start. We're going to... Today, I don't have a PowerPoint presentation. We're going to work only on in the platform, right? Only in the platform. Uh, I repeat, uh, I need you to finish the, the platform, right? And section four. For the next week, we're going to have only three classes, three classes, and we are going to, to have the final exam, right? And that's it, right? Goodbye, pre-intermediate one, right? A new level. A new conquer, una nueva conquista, right? For you. Yes. Okay, Mr. Castellano, welcome. Welcome to the class. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening. How are you today? Excellent. Okay, excellent. I like that. I like you be positive, right? Yes. To learn in whatever, any language, or mechanic, air conditioner or go to university, whatever you, you learn, if you do it with energy, you learn more, right? So that, that's good, that's good, excellent, I like that. Now let's start with the class. I will share the, the platform. And today we don't have a lot of material, so we have time to talk, we can talk. I will help you, you to speak right more today, so. Let's just start making a review of the of the video with plus verb plus two plus verb, right? Okay, now let's just start. To a soccer match? I'd like to. Let's see the video this again, lesson, right? Participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I'd like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contr 
Okay, now please repeat after me. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you? Would you like to go? Would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. Save, save money. I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Want to visit my parents. I'd, I would. I'd, I would, right? Traction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay. So, so uh, this is the way we, we make question, right? Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Pero ahí solo le está diciendo que no puede, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, no. Eh, the, the person say yes. Me gustaría ir, but, pero no puede. But, ajá. Uh -huh. You give yeah. an excuse, right? Oh, oh, is it ah. true? I mean, no. Una, excu una excusa corta. Yes. Uh, oh, okay, yes. It's just like an, a short excuse, right? Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, sorry, excuse me. Okay, uh, yes, uh, this is a special because as I told you yesterday, uh, uh, it's an invitation, right? Like you don't give the, the teeth on a give horse. Huh? So you never uh, say bad things to an invitation, right? So uh, in this case, you never say, no, I wouldn't, never, right? Because of courtesy. Because of court plus verb, right? And then we have this uh, affirmative. Let me see. Let me see the question. Mm, sorry, I don't see the question. No, no, the, the question is not here, right? Just to go to her new house, we need to follow this structure. Yes, Subject plus who plus verb, comma, bus. Examples. No, no, I would no. love to. No, no, no. We don't have the question, right? But uh, here, yes. Okay, we're going to check this. Excuse me. Let me check. Okay, would you like to go? Would you like to eat? Would you like to run? Would you like to travel? Would you like to eat pupusas? You know, whatever. And then you say, yes. Yes. Oh, yes, I love to. Yes, I really like to go, right? Yes, 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 yes. Right. But when you say no, look, I like to. See, 
Yo quisiera, en verdad quisiera. But, this but is, is a no, right? But Pero, it's, it's a polite no. It's a polite no, right? Okay. So, and then I like to, but I have to work late. Understand? Sorry. Okay, now, and uh, all of these could be true or could be an excuse, right? <laughs> I, I have to work late. Maybe it's not true. You're, you're saying something wrong or, or it's really true. It's the thing that you don't accept the reason you don't accept the invitation, right? Okay, good. So we're going to practice. Let me see. We're going to make some invitation here. Let me see. Would you like, like to, go to go to Bicentenario Park? Okay, Rolando, tell me yes. Rolando, would you like to go to Bicentenario Park? Yes, I go. I'll, I'll go. Yes, I would. Victor, say no, please. Uh, would you like to go to Bicentenario Park, Victor? Say no, Victor. Victor doesn't want to say no, right? <laughs> you want to go, eh? <laughs> okay. Victor, would you like to go to Bicentenario Park? Bueno, espero que todo esté bien con el micrófono de Víctor. Now, Juan Alfonso, would you like to go to Bicentenario Park? Say no, please. Say no. No. No, no, no. I, no, no. <laughs> no wait, wait, no, wait. I don't. Relax, relax, Juan Alfonso. Listen, this is what you're going to, to, to tell me. Look at this. I lied to, but I have... I don't know, I have to do something. I have to, to do something, right? Okay. So uh, now let's go to the invitation again. Okay. Juan Alfonso, would you like to go to the Bicentenario Park? No, I do. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. wait. No, come on. Remember, it's an invitation. It's an invitation, right? Again. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. This is complicated because normally uh, when you make a question and you say no, you say no, right? But in this case, look. Look, Juan Alfonso. I like to. You're going to tell me, right? Teacher, I like Excuse to. Excuse me, teacher. To, to este, este. Eh, tengo, tengo una llamada. Ah, do, do it, do it. No problem. Do it. Responda, no hay problema. Ok. Now, my please. Uh, come on, my I need you. You respond negative to my invitation, right? My would eh, you like would you like to go to Bicentenario Park? Eh, es que no lo tengo muy claro, la verdad. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Don't worry. En yes. negativo, o sea, lo que me confundo es. Ajá. La parte negativa, lo que usted está preguntando ahorita. Ok, no, don't worry. Mi teacher. No. Eric, Eric, o oh, who? Who is it? Mi teacher. Uh, sorry. Eh, Victor. Victor, Victor. Ah, ok, Victor. Sí, tenía Pero... problemas con el internet, teacher. Ah, ok, no problem. Ok, Victor. Answer negative. And pay attention, my. Pay attention. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Would you like to go to Bicentenario Park? I'd like to, but I can stay with my family. <laughs> okay, good. You prefer your family than your friend, right? <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you. you. You see, my, that you say, I like to, okay? 
quisiera, sí. quisiera ir, ¿verdad? O quisiera Correcto. tomar la cosa, quisiera tomar el café, quisiera comer la semita que me estás invitando, pero, right? Like I repeat, right? Quiero que quede bien claro este, este eh, el, el concepto de decir no políticamente, right? Ok. This is polite. Por eso es que a los políticos les dicen políticos, porque son muy amables, ¿verdad? <ríe> polite. En inglés la palabra po político quiere decir polite. Mm -hmm. Of course it's politician, right? Pero la forma en que los politician uh, hablan y, y, y tratan a las personas es polite, right? Polite. So, in this case you say, I like to. Sí, quiero ir. Pero, like, like you say, sí, pero no. <ríe> ok. Sí, pero no. Now, another invitation, right? Another invitation. Let me see. Would you like to drink coffee at Starbucks? Okay. Uh, Alejandro, tell me yes, Alejandro. Would you like to drink coffee at Starbucks? Yes, I would like to, to go to drink coffee. Okay, with Semita, right, Alejandro? <laughs> yes. Okay, now, good. Now, Rosa, sé que no le está trabajando el micrófono, pero me manda un mensaje, Rosa, okay? Now, Rosa. Would you like to drink coffee at Starbucks? Tell me no, Rosa. Tell me no. En lo que esperamos el mensaje, eh, Josué Rosales. Josué, please. Would you like to drink coffee at Starbucks? Say yes, Josué. Yes, I would like. Okay, I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. Very good, thank you. And Luis Alberto, would you say no, Luis? Would you like to drink coffee at Starbucks? Luis, hello, hello. Okay, today I, I guess we have problems with the microphone, right? Or sometimes the, the internet. Sometimes the internet. Okay, let me see. Teacher, y yes. acá. Eh, Ajá, para la negativa, también se podría decir como, o sea, como contestarlo en negativo, pero con, porque no le gusta. O sea, usar ese Ajá. verbo también. Por ejemplo, Ajá, para, para... Ajá, para, por ejemplo, I would like eh, to, but I don't like Starbucks coffee. Uh -huh. That's it. Excellent. That's what I wanted, right? That you tell me? Okay. Just, just give me a second. Oh, okay. I have the answer of Rosa. Give me a second. Ya tengo la respuesta de Rosa. Let me see. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Oopsie. Oh, okay. Sorry. No puedo accesar al, al mensaje. Por aquí tendría que ser. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Voy a dejar de compartir. Ah, ahí está, ahí está. No, no me deja. Sorry. Aquí vamos a ver. Sorry. Ok. Uh, I would like to, but I work late. Good, excellent, Rosa. I would like to, but I work late. It's a good excuse, right? And it's not offensive, right? Let me copy the excuse here, right? I will copy the excuse of, of Rosa. Negative, right? Negative. I like to, but I have to work late, right? You see? So, you are saying yes, right? Está diciendo sí, pero en realidad está diciendo no, ¿verdad? Yeah, I like to. 
si quisiera, pero no. <laughs> okay. Now, my, your sentence, my. Yeah, I would I like, like. I like to. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I would um, like to. I, no. Eh, um, I would like to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Si, si quieren, no like usamos to. la contracción, my. Okay. I, I, I would, would like to. to. Mm -hmm. And, but I don't like Starbucks coffee. But I don't like Starbucks coffee. Okay. So in other words, my is saying is saying yes, but she's saying no, right? Because she doesn't like like the, the coffee there, right? Okay. Understand Wait. now? Understand? So when I say no, when I say no is 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 a special, right? In the other question, I will copy some examples in other question. Maybe that is the confusion. Por eso quizá estamos confundidos, porque en otras oraciones obviamente contestamos con yes and no, right? For example, with the verb to be. Verb to be. Are you a student? Oops. Student. And then you say, yes, I am, right? And say no. No, I am not. Okay, but when you say, are you a student? This is not an invitation. This is a question that you want to, to, to know one yes or one no, right? Other example is, Do you live in Santa Santa Ana, right? Do you live in Santa Ana? Yes, I do. And no, I don't. Right? In in past, did you work yesterday yes i did no, no I, I didn't, didn't. right no, i didn't oops sorry okay no i didn't right and all the auxiliaries are you working now yes i am no i am not have you visited Chalatenango? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et like but listen, listen. Would this is a yes no question, right? Yes no question. Would you like to visit uh, Chalatenango, for example? Chalatenango. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Oh, good idea, right? The rain is over, right? We finished with the rain. So now it's possible. Only yeah. for the coronavirus, maybe. <laughs> okay, now. Yes, I would. Listen, this is correct, right? And then you say, ah, okay. Affirmative, yes, I would. Negative, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, right? Listen to me. Pay attention, please. This is grammatically correct. This is correct. No problem. But in the real life, right? In la vida real, you don't say, eh, quisieras, quisiera una tacita de café. No, no quiero. Okay. You don't say that, right? Huh? You say, Yes, I like to, but, right? I like to, but uh, I am busy, for example, right? Um, I am busy. Mm -hmm. Understand? So this is affirmative, this is affirmative, and this is negative, right? Aunque no digan no, Pero estamos diciendo no, right? 
pero, siempre hay un pero, vas a decir. Ajá, that's it. Hay un pero ahí. It, it's a bad. It's a bad there, right? Do you understand? Ajá, uh -huh. my. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Queda un poquito más claro? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anybody else? No. Lorena es el Galaxy, ¿verdad, Lorena? Yes, teacher. Ah, vaya, hoy, hoy, hoy no se le oye el, el, el eco, porque como solo está con sí. uno. ¿verdad? Estoy yes. aquí, que me cuesta ver las letritas. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Va, vamos a hacerse lo más grande, entonces, oiga. Gracias. Ok, teacher. another invitation, another invitation. Let's see with another invitation. Ok, sí. vamos a ver si las podemos hacer más grandes aquí. Yeah, sí. Would you like to um, to drink soda, for example? Vamos a ver. Um, no, no hay forma de hacerlo más grande. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no se puede, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, I will make this invitation. Eh, Lorena, can you see it? Would you like to drink soda? Can you see that, Lorena? Uh, yes, I would yes, like. Yes, I would like. Okay, excellent. <laughs> it means that Lorena, Lorena likes soda, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I would like to. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, good. That's nice. Thanks. Uh, Ana Maria. Welcome, Ana Maria. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, do you like Good soda? Good evening. Good evening. Do you like soda, Ana Maria? Do you um, like so so, teacher. So so, okay. So, now, do, would you like to drink soda right now, Ana Maria? Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it's it. It's hot. It's hot today. Oh, yes, it's hot, right? Today, uh, the weather is different now, right? The way I, I feel hot today, yes, you're right. So, yes, I would. Or yes, I like to. <laughs> Negative? Rolando, would you like to drink um, soda, Rolando? Negative? Yes, I like to. Oh, yes, I like to. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Again, Ana Maria. Ana Maria también tiene ganas de soda, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, but Rolando is going to say no. Rolando, say no, please. Would you like to drink soda, Rolando? I would like... I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. But, but is a uh, drink coffee. But I prefer. I prefer. Say. Okay. But, but I prefer. But I prefer. I drink to, coffee. To drink coffee. Okay. To Very good. Coffee. Nice. Now let's go to the commentaries. Let's go to the commentaries in the platform. Let me see here, right? Okay, commentaries. Ooh, I have a lot of commentaries. Nice. Okay, uh, Vicky, no, right? Rosa, Rosa. Would you like to eat on Thursday? Now we have time, right? Hoy, hoy tenemos tiempo, así que vamos a hacer algunas correcciones aquí. Would you like to go? Vamos a hacerlo más grande también para que... Lorena me dice que, que le cuesta ver. Así que hay que hacerlo un poquito más grande, ¿verdad? Hoy creo que hoy estamos bien. Would you like to go to eat on Thursday? So, vamos a ponerle aquí uh, Rosa, right? The days of the week. No, vamos a ver. We use capital letters in days of the week, right? Siempre vamos a escribir mayúscula en los días de la semana. For example, Thursday, right? Thursday, for example, right? Monday, etc., hmm? etc. Et But the sentence is perfect, Rosa. Would you like to go to eat on Thursday? And then you say, 
I love to go. Ah, this is a no. Look, I love to go, but I can because I I go to the church. Excellent. Rosa is a very religious person. Congratulations. That's nice, right? It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's the truth, right? Okay. Ya le pusimos la respuesta a Rosa aquí y ya se la mandamos, ¿verdad? Excellent. Now let's continue, right? Eh, Google, vamos a ver quién nos escribió este. Silvia Roxana, no, no, no está en nuestro grupo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, Rolando Campo, no, tampoco, no está en nuestro grupo. <risa> thank okay, you. No, thank you. <risa> ok, listen, vamos a ponerla también aquí, Rolando. Rolando, we use capital letters. Usamos mayúscula, mayúscula, right? Día de la semana. No, 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 wait. When we uh, begin a sentence. Siempre que comenzamos una oración, comenzamos con mayúsculas, ¿verdad? Ok. And okay. with days of the week. La misma observación, ¿verdad? Days of the week. Estos son detallitos. No estoy diciendo que está malo. No está perfecto. Me fascina que me escriban aquí. Y que pongan sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Pero siempre para todos estos detallitos, ¿verdad? Nos sirven a todos, ¿verdad? I would like to, but I can't. Oh, my goodness. It's an excellent excuse, right? I have English class, of course. Yeah. When they say, would you like to go to a party? Would you like to go to a party, Josué Rosales? Josué Rosales. No, I like to, but I have English classes. My, do you, would you like to go to a party? No, say my. <laughs> I have English classes. <laughs> okay, good. Now I will submit. Good. Y ya Rolando tiene su respuesta. Okay. Let me... oh, no more. Ya no hay más. Oh, come on. Well, that's it, right? Now, do you have any question about this topic, class? Questions? Sí, teacher. Dígame, Rolando. Solo, eh, o sea, para responder en negativo, uh -huh. así como hay tres formas para responder en positivo, para responder en negativo, solo vimos dos, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Eh, eh, siempre es... Me refiero. I like siempre, to. Siempre, se va a hacer, siempre va a ser I like to. Quisiera. I solo like es to. como un pretexto. Uh -huh. Para hacerlo decoroso. Uh -huh. Para hacerlo bonito, ¿verdad? Para no, like to, para but no I have to work late. Okay. Para no ofender ahí a la, la persona, ¿verdad? ¿Quién, ¿Quién quita que también ande conquistando ahí la persona? Y, y le pueden herir su sentimiento. Entonces, I like to, but. Ok. I like to, but you are very ugly. <risa> no, no, no. No, no, no. O sea. <risa> pero una, una, una respuesta corta, teacher, sería. No, I, I wouldn't. O si le digo, but I can't. Oh, yes. I like to, but I can't. Suena un poquito corto, pero es aceptable. No, muy pesado, no. Suena así como quisiera, pero no puedo. ¿no? Ajá. Mejor decirle, mira, gracias, pero tengo que trabajar, gracias. Me regañan en la casa o no sé, algo, ¿verdad? O lo regaña la esposa o algo ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. Ok. Understand? Sure. Good. Now, if no more question, let's go to the next part. Let's go to the next part. We are here. Uh, an invitation. Here, right? Give me a second. Vamos ahora a hacerlo más pequeño. Porque nos perdemos acá. Ok. Okay, good. Let's go to the knowledge check, right? Let's go to the knowledge check. Good plus verb. Good plus verb plus two plus verb, right? Indication. Listen. Read the following invitation and select the best response, right? I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Baseball game. Would you like to go? And then here we go to the response, right? Listen. Notice that you can have many answers. You can say, yes, I do. Yes, I can. 
yes, I, yes, I did, right? But here you're going to answer with would, right? Would. No, no le voy a decir cuál de estas tiene would, ¿verdad? Pero estamos hablando de la contracción. Una de estas dos tiene una contracción. Ok, es que es muy peligroso aquí darles la respuesta, ¿verdad? Pero, pero creo que está bien clara cuál sería la respuesta, ¿verdad? Good. Josué Rosales, por ejemplo. Josué, usted ya terminó la sección 4, Josué. No, coach, yo no, ni siquiera he empezado, la verdad. Uh, pero la 3 sí, Josué. No, ninguna. Es que Uy. Tuve problemas con el trabajo. Ah, ok, pero, pero sí tiene acceso a la plataforma, ¿verdad, Josué? Sí, sí tengo, pero es que hasta esta semana me han regresado los horarios que tenía. Entonces... Ah, menos mal, menos mal, porque solo tenemos hasta el 20 para terminar. Eh, oiga, este, Jos este Josué. Fin de semana. Excelente. Si hay alguna pregunta, fíjese que yo trabajo el sábado todo el día, pero en la noche, si me deja alguna pregunta, o el domingo, le puedo echar la mano, oiga. Ahí. Pero está bien, con... si, hay alguna, si hay alguna alguna sección que, que le cueste, pues ahí estamos a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Ok, okay pero, pero, aquí, pero aquí este está claro, Josué. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la respuesta? ¿Sí? ¿Le alcanza a ver, Josué? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, le tiene claro, ¿verdad? No, no le va a costar cuando esté haciendo el... No. Okay. Yo creo que no. Excellent. I like that. <laughs> I like that attitude. Excellent, right? Good. Now let's go to the next one. Number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? And then, listen, ah, aquí está más difícil, porque aquí hay una cascarita, ¿verdad? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I have meeting. Uh -huh. Hay una de estas oraciones que tiene un error. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál de estas dos oraciones tiene un error? Si, si nos vamos nuevamente, porque quiero que ustedes se fijen bien en la estructura. Quiero que se fijen bien en la estructura para que no se vayan a confundir en no le check. By the end of this lesson, for... Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Listen, eh, I, I, we use the contraction. I like to, y aquí hay una coma, ¿ve? I like to, y hay una coma. Y luego va la, la excusa, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que poner después de la proposición la coma, ¿ok? Por ahí está más o menos la indicación. Entonces ustedes ven aquí la selección. Y por ahí, por ahí pueden entender cuál es la respuesta correcta, ¿verdad? Ok, N number three. Would you like to go to a pop concert with, this, with me this weekend? Yes, I really like to go. Yes, I really like to go. Aquí también. Vean estas dos expresiones. Hay un detallito nada más, ¿verdad? Un solo detallito que indica cuál es lo correcto. Regresemos nuevamente, perdón que esté mostrándoles el video cada rato, no me van a aburrir, pero... By the end... well, now it's our... Pero aquí está bien, bien detallado, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí responde tres, con tres formas en positivo. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. ¿Verdad? I love to está correcto y el punto. Yes, I really like to go. Vean cómo está escrito, cómo está estructurado, ¿verdad? I really like to go. ¿Sí? Que nos vamos al, al knowledge check. Y ahí vemos, perdón, here, right? Yeah. ¿Cuál de estas dos tiene la estructura correcta? En ambas es yes, ¿verdad? Pero una tiene un pequeño errorcito ahí. Faltante. No, le, no les puedo decir cuál, ¿verdad? Pero, pero ahí... Tiene pues, faltante, Tich. Tiene un faltante, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Would you like to go to a soccer match to see Alianza Football Club, Albos? Ok. I don't know. Uh, oh, come on, Rolando. No. Any, any problem with Alianza, excuse me? 
No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no. no come on, I'm kidding. Okay, no, now, teacher, no. Like, no, no, Eric. Ah, okay, Eric is salvo. <laughs> okay, now. No, teacher, para no. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, no, no commentaries, Eric. No commentaries. <laughs> okay, now. So, uh, yes, I love to. Thank you. Yes, I wouldn't. Aquí como que está un poco obvia la respuesta, ¿verdad? No le voy a decir cuál es, pero está bastante obvia. Como lo que les diga, yes, I am do not. <ríe> yes, I am do not. O yes, I can, I can did don't. <ríe> ok, está un poco eh, eh, lógica la, la respuesta, ¿verdad? Good. And the last one. Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? I like to, but I has to work. I like to, but I have to work. Aquí también una de las dos oraciones tiene un error de gramática. Una de las dos. Por ahí investiguenme bien cuál es el error, pero el, el error empieza desde aquí. De, I has to work, I have to work. Por ahí está el error, ¿verdad? Good, that's it, right? No, I, I feel very comfortable today, right? Me siento cómodo porque ahorita hay mucho tiempo para que ustedes me pregunten y, y resolvamos esto bien fácilmente. Esta sección está bastante fácil, siento yo. La 1, la 2 y la 3 son las más difíciles, right? Y si aún no han terminado, pues como, como le dije a José, para todos es lo mismo, ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Para eso estoy aquí, para que me pregunten, me gusta que me pregunten, así que no hay problema. ¿Verdad, Rolando? Así es, teacher, Excellent. yes. Excellent. Ok, now let's finish the class with Cristina Aguilera, ladies and gentlemen. Eh, no sé qué habrá pasado con Josué Campos. Él me preguntó, desde el día que me preguntó sobre este artículo, ya no se volvió a conectar. Espero que esté bien de salud, ¿verdad? Pero bien, nosotros sigamos. Listen, read the article. Then number the sentences from first event to eighth, last event, right? This is complicated. Listen, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Voy a explicarlo lentamente. Tengo un artículo sobre Cristina Aguilera, ¿verdad? Y me va dando oraciones de Cristina Aguilera. Me va da dando ocho oraciones de, sobre ella, ¿verdad? Comencemos con la primera. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Ella canta. Como estamos describiendo una biografía, no es cantó, sino que ella canta en los Juegos Olímpicos de invierno. Vaya, este evento sucedió primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, o en octavo lugar. Y aquí pueden ustedes ver, ¿verdad? Que va mencionando años. T-shirt. ¿Yes? Ahí la cascarita es que son nueve sucesos. Y uno hay que dejar fuera. Y sobra uno. Yes. Sobra uno. Si sí, no me da a decir cuál es. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Yo, okay. yo... Sí, pero tiene razón. Gracias. Tiene toda la razón, Rolando. Ya, ve, ya, ya veo que ha leído el artículo. Lo felicito. Sí, es cierto. Hay algo que sobra ahí que nosotros no podemos tomar en cuenta. Pero si nos vamos en la línea del tiempo, empezamos en 1980, ¿verdad? O sea que esta Cristina Aguilera ya tiene sus añitos, ¿verdad? Eh, luego en el 88, 92, y aquí vamos con los eventos. ¿ve? Ya los vamos a leer, pero, pero aquí la lógica nos va diciendo, ¿verdad? Y si nos sale mal, pues, digamos, pus, pusimos tres, probablemente dos o es cuatro, ¿verdad? Pero por ahí anda la lógica. Ok, comencemos. She thinks at the Winter Olympic Games. Can, ella canta en los Juegos Olímpicos de invierno. Two. She is born in New York. Nació en Nueva York. Este es como que es un poco lógico, ¿verdad? Ella no puede cantar si no ha nacido, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Letter C. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. Beautiful is a, is a, is a song. Ok. Ganó un Grammy por la canción Beautiful. Ok. Number four. 
She records a song for a Disney movie. Grabó una canción para una película de Disney. Disney. No Disney, right? Disney. Okay. Five. She travels around Japan. Viajó alrededor de Japón. Okay. Six. She worked with Britney Spears. La gordita, ¿verdad? Trabajo con ella. Trabajo. <laughs> yes. She is on television for the first time. Ella apareció por primera vez en televisión. Right? She has her first successful song. Ella logró su primera canción exitosa. Okay? So those are the eight events. ¿En qué orden sucedieron? Ahora vamos a la lectura, right? Give me a second. Lo vamos a hacer grande para que todos lo veamos. Ok. Good, good. Tenemos un segundito acá. Por ahí parece ser que nos, nos queda bien, ¿verdad? Deme un segundito que... Okay. Quiero ponérselos bien. Que aquí hay una forma de ponerlo al centro, pero no, no me ubico. Ah, ahí está. Excelente. Ahí estamos ya. Ahí estamos. Excelente. Very good. Now. Cristina Aguilera, right? And we have here Cristina at the Olympics, right? Cristina first hit. Ginny in a bottle, right? Genio en una botella, right? And Cristina, second from right. La segunda de la derecha, right? Entiendo que es esta. Uh, on the new Mickey Mouse Cloud, right? New Mickey Mouse, Mouse Cloud, right? Cuando estaba bien jovencita. Good. Now let's start reading, right? So far, she has multiple hit singles, right? Tiene muchos éxitos. She has fans of all ages around the world. Ella tiene fanáticos de todas las edades, right? And many people say that she's the best singer of her generation. Alguna gente cree que ella es la mejor cantante de su generación, ¿verdad? Okay. Es que quizás no han escuchado la cantante de, de los hermanos Flores, Noris. Para mí es la mejor cantante del, okay, de la generación. <laughs> ok. And here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. Aquí hay algunos puntos eh, importantes, highlights, right, de su vida y su carrera. 1980. Cristina is born on December 18th in New York. Okay. 1980. Nació en 1980. 1982. A los ocho años, ¿verdad? Estaba bien cipotía. Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Búsqueda de estrellas. Un show de talento, ¿verdad? 1992. Cuando tenía 12 años, pues. Cristina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Okay. 1994. Aquí ya tenía 14 años, ¿verdad? Cristina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She toured Fran Japan, sorry. Se fue de tour a Francia cuando tenía apenas 14 años. Uh -huh. Cristina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Si han visto la película, una de las canciones que aparecen ahí es de ella, Cristina Aguilera, right? Mulan. Good. 1999, Cristina has her first big hit. La primera canción exitosa. Todo el mundo la andaba cantando, Ginny in a Bottle. Genio en una botella, right? 2001. Aquí ya tenía 21 años, ¿verdad? Ya era toda una señorita. 
Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge, El Molino Rojo. Hey, Mr. Paul. Okay, algo así va, porque está en francés, no me la puedo, ¿verdad? Lady Marmalade, la dama de mermelada, right? En 2001, que era originaria de una cantante negrita, pero ella la cantó muy bien. En 2001. Now, in 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah. Mm -hmm. Ella cantó en las ceremonias de cierre, ¿verdad? De los Juegos Olímpicos en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? En una ciudad que se llama Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Es como el lago, la ciudad del lago Salado, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? And Cristina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. En el 2004, ¿verdad? 2004, ya tenía 24 años, ¿verdad? Okay, overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. Aún, a pesar de todo, pues ella está como, como apantallada, como, como um, asombrada, ¿verdad? De su éxito. It's been quite a roller coaster ride, dice. She laughed. Ella se ríe, dice, es como ir en una montaña rusa. Roller coaster. I simple love my job. Simple, sencillamente, amo mi trabajo, right? Es como el teacher, ¿verdad? Yo amo mi trabajo también, sí. Ok, so do all Cristina's fans. Y también los, los fanáticos de Cristina Aguilera también aman el trabajo de ella, ¿verdad? Ok, good. So this is the reading. I don't know if you have questions. About vocabulary. Questions? Okay, now we're going to practice uh, pronunciation. Como tenemos tiempo, vamos a practicar con la pronunciación, okay? Now let's start with, uh, give me a second, I will start with Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Hello, now please, only you, Cindy, repeat after me. Cristina is born on December 18th in New York. Cristina is born on December 18th in New York. Okay, good. You can say December 18th or December 18th. That is an ordinal number, right? Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Now, uh, uh, Carolina, repeat after me, Carolina. Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Good. Star, Carolina. Star. Star. Mm -hmm. Star. Excellent. That's the correct pronunciation. Thank you. Luis okay. Alberto. Okay. Thank you, Caro. Eh, Luis Alberto. Repeat after me, please. Cristina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Cristina. Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Cristina is on TV in Disney new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Excellent. Good pronunciation, right? Cloud. I like the way you pronounce Luis. Cloud. That's that's very. You sound like very gringo, right, Luis? <laughs> nice. Congratulations. And Thank only you, teacher. You're welcome. Only this, Luis. Disney's. Disney's, right? Uh, we normally say Disney, but it's this in English. Disney's. Disney. Right? Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, next one, please. Uh, Rosa, no, no le funcionaba el micrófono, verdad? Todavía no, verdad, Rosa? No, todavía no. Bueno. Eh, May. Hello, May. Now, please, repeat, please. Cristina records all I want to do with... Esto no es necesario que lo pronuncie bien, porque ni yo puedo pronunciarlo bien. Pero es queso 
Nakanishi. <laughs> a Japanese pop star. Star. She tours Japan. Cristina records all I wanna do with Keiso Nakanishi, a, Jap a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Good. Thank you, Mai. Now listen. Star. Star. Excellent. Very good. With S, right? Star. Good. Now, Juan Alfonso, repeat, please. Cristina yes, sings. Okay. Cristina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Cristina sings a song for Disney movie Mulan. Okay. Now, sings. Mm, sings. Okay. Disney. Disney. Okay, nice. Good. And then who's next? Let me see. Ya se me movieron de lugar, okay? Uh, so, Eric. Eric Castellano, right? Mr. Castellanos, please. Repeat after me. Cristina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. Eric? And, right, no, creo que el, el micrófono lo va a tener malo, Eric. Entonces, Josué me va a ayudar. Josué, please, help me. Cristina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. Cristina has her, has her first big hit, uh-huh. Ah. Genie in the bottle. Genie, Genie? Genie in a bottle. In a bottle. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jose. Very nice, right? Now, Rolando, please. Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin, Moulin, uh, sorry, Moulin Roche, Moulin Roche. <laughs> El Molino Rojo, esto es francés. Moline Rouge. Along with other singer. Cristina Record, Lady Mermelade. No, Mermelade. No, Mermelade. Mermelade. For the movie Moline Rouge. Moline Rouge, right? Rouge, perdón. Yeah, Rouge. <laughs> eh, hay una película de Star Wars que, eh, que lleva este Rouge. ¿Qué quiere decir ¿Cuál era? ¿Cuál era la frase francesa ahí, teacher? Eh, el molino rojo, Moulin Rouge. Oh. Molino es Moulin, Rouge es rojo. Yo, yo pensé que sí. era Lady, Lady. No, Lady Mermelade, Lady, eh, Lady Mer Mermelade es, es la canción. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y la película es Moulin Rouge. For the movie, Y en la Moulin película... Rouge. En la, en la canción, perdón, parece que dice Moulin Rouge también, no estoy seguro, pero es muy buena esta canción. Ok, now, eh, Rolando, please. Repeat. Along, Along white with other singers. No, with, with. Along with other singer. singers. 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 Ok. Cristina Records. 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 Lady. Mermelade. Mermelade <laughs> for the movie Moulin Rouge. Oh Rose. my goodness. Nice. Good. Now, let me see who's missing. Claudia Castro. Hello, Claudia. Welcome. Now, please, repeat after me, Claudia. Okay. Cristina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City. Utah. Cristina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Game in Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, listen, salt, salt. Salt, salt. Yes, good. And okay. Thank you, thank you so much, right? And who's missing? Que me hace falta? 
Ana María, no, no me ha pronunciado, ¿verdad? Ana María. Yes. Please, yes. the last one, right? Ya, ya, ya me dijo una oración, Chris. No, ¿verdad, Ana María? No, ok. No. Ok, now, please, repeat after me. Cristina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy award for beautiful. Cristina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy award for beautiful. Ok, good pronunciation, Ana María, congratulations, right? Ah, uh, thank you. Ok, you, y Lorena, Lorena, no me ha pronunciado, vamos, vamos a darle el cierre, Lorena, para cerrar la clase, ¿verdad? Permítame, Lorena. Ok, me va a leer todo esto, Lorena, sí. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled, thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She laughed. Este es con F. Laughed. Laugh. Te ríe, right? Laughed. I simply love my job. So do all Cristina's fans. Okay, Lorena. Okay. Over Cristina Aguilera is thriller by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She loved, she loved, she loved, I love, love, mm. I simply love, love my job. So do all Christina's fans. Excellent. Very good. So that's yeah. it, class. That, 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 that's all, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to see you. I am going to see you next, next week, right? On Monday. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Bye. The rest right. of the night, right? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.